Well, the reason we perform this study is that we have a strong relationship with many patient associations, especially patient associations with developmental disabilities and epilepsy, encephalopathies of uh, epileptic and, and, and developmental origin. And what we uh, found is that very often parents were <clears throat> stuck with the, the decision whether withdraw medication in PCDH19 children or keep them on medication. The reason being that most of these children, once they are placed in the proper medication, that is usually levetiracetam, but it can be other drugs. Once they are in the proper medication, they remain seizure free for many, for, for a long period of time, for years. So at this point, we ask the question, well, he's been five, six, 10 years seizure free, is it time to withdraw medication? So we look at what had happened. Instead of developing a study, a study to uh, randomize patients to stay on medication and withdraw medication, which I think is a little bit dangerous because sometimes stopping medication, forcing patients because of a study to stop medication might be kind of ethically difficult to understand. So what we look is what had happened to those patients that their parents have decided to stop medication on their own and look at whether it was done properly or not. What we found is that there is a very high rate of recurrence of seizures. So uh, we advocate that instead of uh, stopping medication, maybe reducing the dose, but not stopping it might be a wisest idea. In addition, some patients, once their seizures restarted because of medication withdrawal, uh, they had trouble regaining seizure control again. So I think uh, these kind of studies can be extended to other uh, uh, developmental encephalopathies and other forms of epilepsy. And now we have to focus not in epilepsy in general, but we have to uh, provide pre precision medicine. And precision medicine is not only about selecting the appropriate drug, but also for a particular disease, but also deciding whether in a particular syndrome uh, withdrawing medication should be done or not. Probably we're going to have different scenarios with different outcomes depending on the different diseases.